In this video, you'll learn how firmware libraries make it easy to work with common sensors, actuators, and devices in your particle-powered applications. There are over 1,000 libraries available for installation and use in the Web IDE, Workbench, and the Particle CLI. If you'd like to follow along with this video, you'll need a Particle Argon, the Grove Featherwing Adapter, a Grove Temperature and Humidity Sensor, and a Grove OLED Display. When working with basic sensors and actuators, for example, LEDs, buttons, or potentiometers, the code needed to interface with these devices is often simple. Turning on an LED? That's a digital write. Want to know if a button has been pressed? Just check the pin with the digital read. Need to know how much a knob has been rotated? An analog read probably contains the answer. For many devices, however, things can get complicated quickly. Working with devices that connect via a bus like I2C or SPI requires a knowledge of all the bits and bytes that cross the wire between your hardware and the sensor. And even complex digital devices require an understanding of how the device uses pulse width modulated signals to pass information to your application. For even the most adept firmware engineers, it can be a lot to manage. Enter Particle Firmware Libraries, which encapsulate the complexity of working with your devices into simple APIs that provide the information or control you need so that you can focus on building your application. Instead of managing bits and bytes yourself, you can get a sensor reading or display information on a screen using simple function calls. Particle hosts over 1,000 community-contributed and managed firmware libraries as a part of our platform. Chances are, if you're working with a complex sensor or actuator, we have a library for it. Let's look at an example with two devices, a DHT11 digital temperature and humidity sensor and an OLED screen. We'll use a library for the DHT11 to obtain readings and a library for the OLED display to display those on the screen. For this example, I've plugged the sensor into the D2 port on the Grove Shield and the OLED on the I2C underscore one port. First, let's take a look at the process of installing libraries in the Particle Web IDE. From a new project, click on the bookmark icon to open the library's pane. Then in the search box, you'll type the name of the library you wish to install. As you type, the area below the search box will refresh with results. When you find the library you're looking for, click Include in Project and select your project. In the Web IDE, an include statement for the library header file will be automatically added to your project. Once the library is installed, you can view examples for reference and start using library features. Here, I'm reading the temperature in Fahrenheit from my temp and humidity sensor by calling the getTempFahrenheit method of the DHD object I created above. This function handles all of the hard work of communicating with the sensor over the D2 pin to read the current temperature and return a result in degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's take a look at the process for installing a library using Particle Workbench. With a firmware project open, Open the VS Code command palette using Command or Control, Shift, P, and search for or select the Install Library option. Type the name of the library you wish to install and hit Enter. If you're not sure of the library you want, you can select the Find Libraries option and see a list of possibilities in the console output. Workbench will install libraries into a lib directory in your project. Once the library is installed, simply add an include statement for the header and start using library features. Not only does Workbench provide IntelliSense for firmware libraries, but you can use the Go to Definition context menu option to inspect the library source and see what's behind the curtain of that convenient API you're using. It's also possible to search for and install libraries using the Particle CLI. Run Particle Library Search to find a library based on a search term and Particle Library Add from a project directory to add the library to your project. With the library installed, you're ready to use it from your editor of choice. Congratulations! You've mastered the art of taking your particle projects to the next level with firmware libraries. To learn more, head over to docs.particle.io. Happy hacking!